What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, uh, and welcome back to some quarantine content. I, first of all, I hope that everybody is safe. I hope that everybody's doing okay. Uh, and I hope that you are able to take care of yourself and your loved ones and whoever relies on you. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. With everyone spending uh, more time indoors than they ever asked for, I'm getting a lot of people asking questions about PC builds. So today we're gonna push through this because I'm gonna share with you two different PC builds depending on your budget. We're gonna start with a thrifty model and then we're also gonna do a professional model. Both of these are gonna be gaming and streaming PCs. So if you want to start streaming during quarantine and utilize this time and learn a new skill, maybe even try pushing towards a new career, uh, this will help you out. So yes, two PC builds, time code to the professional one here. If you're looking for more of like a 15 to $1,700 build, we're gonna start with like a 700, 650 to $700 build first. Uh, and yes, I know I could probably split this up into two videos and double the ad revenue off of it, but <laughs> well, we're just not gonna do that today. <laughs> but before we get started real quick, I wanna give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Owned.TV. Owned is your one-stop shop for all your stream aesthetic needs, whether it's alerts, overlays, panels, profile pictures, whatever you need. Plus, Owns overlay packages are modular. So for example, if all of your friends pick up this Rodan series, that's kind of a favorite of mine, you can all pick and choose different elements and none of you will have identical streams. So if you'd like to make the smart move like many from this community have done, pick up an owned overlay. There's a link in the description down below, which by the way, if you use that link, it also supports the channel. And on top of that, if you'd like 40% off, uh, use code alpha at checkout. Also, I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. So if you have questions about these upcoming builds or want to ask me about my build over here, uh, link to my stream in the description down below. Back to the PCs. In my previous video on uh, budget gaming and streaming PCs, I did a build that ended up being about $650. With so many people building PCs and buying parts, uh, some things are just as easy to find. Some things are much more difficult to find. Some things have gone up in price, some things have gone down in price. So we're gonna try to stay around that 650 mark, but I definitely wanna keep it under $700. And the first thing I wanna start with is the GPU, because this is going to be, as any gamer knows, the powerhouse of the PC. And not just for gaming, but also for streaming, because we're gonna be using Nvidia's Turing encoder built into it. As explained in the previous video that I mentioned before, if you're on a tight budget, the last thing you wanna do is pay extra for a larger CPU just to be able to encode when you can pick up a GPU that has a fantastic encoder built into it. And Nvidia's newest lineups, the 16 series and the 20 series cards, minus the original 1650, that one doesn't count, they all have the new Turing encoder built into it, which looks in most use cases just as good as X264 medium. So. We are gonna be going with that because that allows you to be much more efficient and utilize a separate chip for encoding, taking a lot of headroom off your CPU. Therefore, we can get a much more affordable CPU and save you a lot of money. In that build, I believe I used this Gigabyte 1660 card, which is a great card. I did a whole video. I tested this build. I was able to run most games at 1080p60 while streaming in 1080p60 at 6,000 uh, megabits per second. I'd imagine trying to play a newer, less optimized game like Call of Duty on this, you probably wouldn't reach that 60 FPS mark. So I would call this 1660 your bare minimum. And if you have a couple extra bucks, let's just, let's just jump up to this Asus one and we'll make this the one we're going for. Uh, it's out of stock right now. It looks like it's getting back in stock in about mm, 10 days. Not terrible. Let's open up a notepad here. We're gonna call this thrifty PC. If you have a couple extra bucks, this is probably where I would put it, getting up to a 1660 Ti or even EVGA's uh, 2060 KO, which is usually $300. So only $60 more you can get an RTX card. So if you got the extra 60 bucks to spend, that's a great place. Let's jump into the CPU. For the CPU, we're doing something very special here. This is the Ryzen 5 1600 AF. Now, let me explain that because you're saying 1600, a first gen Ryzen CPU? That's stupid. We're on third gen Ryzen. I get that. Hear me out. This is Ryzen's updated model of the 1600 that they have added that new 12 nanometer architecture. And uh, essentially, this is a 2600 in 
<laughs> just with a different number on top of it. I can't believe it's been price gouged up to $150. I hope that price goes back down. Uh, last time I did this, you could get a 1600 for 85 bucks. And with quarantine, everybody building stuff, prices have gone up. Uh, they will go back down. Depends on how patient you are. We're gonna put in this price for now, which hurts my soul. That is honestly the majority of our build right now. That's that's <laughs> that's a lot of our budget, which is what the GPU and the CPU should be. Let's grab the motherboard next. We're gonna look for a B450 motherboard. Now, the B450 is missing two main features versus the more upped model, the the X570 motherboards that, uh, that are kind of um, the cream of the crop for the AM4 platform, right? You're missing SLI support, which is not really the most efficient way to spend your money anyway. You're also missing PCIe Gen 4 support, which is not applicable for most gamers. And even if it was, uh, if you're on a thrifty budget, you're not going to need that. Another thing about B450s is most of them won't work with Ryzen 3rd Gen 3000 series right out of the box. They need a BIOS upgrade first. So if you're planning on taking this build and instead getting a more modern CPU like a Ryzen 3600, uh, make sure you're not getting a B450 motherboard unless it says on the ad that it can work with Ryzen 3000 out of the box. Some of them do. So this is one of the ones that I liked at a, a decent price. It's It's got a couple of things I really like. One, of course, it's got four DIMM slots, dual channel support. I like the way they placed their PCIe slots. For example, if we go back to like this one up here, this is a lot cheaper, but this just kills me. You know your GPU is gonna cover that first one, maybe even the second one. And you've got this micro ATX board that for the most part can fit almost nothing except a GPU. Especially if this is a gaming and streaming PC, you really wanna be able to utilize those PCIe slots for things like capture cards. Uh, kind of screwed there. So this is the one that I think I'm gonna go with here. We'll see how much it adds up to later if we need to drop down the cost to the other one. This way, if you have a two slot GPU, you're gonna have two extra PCIe slots and one of them is gonna be, it looks like it fits a 16X card. You look closely, it looks like it only goes out to about 4X there. It looks like most of the whole slot doesn't actually have pins, which is not a big deal. I don't know of any capture card except for like a quad 4K capture card and that thing goes out to like eight times. Most capture cards don't go past 4X. So this will give you all the expansion that you need. Let's write this down. All right, let's fly through the rest of these. Uh, you can get some 3600 RAM uh, for pretty cheap. You can either get this Corsair Vengeance one, which is fantastic, $90 for 16 gigs of 3600 RAM. Uh, there's another one, the G-Skill Ripjaw is another good option. I used to avoid this. This always freaked me out, but it, I've, you can go into these sellers. There's a Twitch Prime one. This is $85. That's $5 cheaper. So we're actually going to go with this one. Let's get our storage next. We're running out of space here. If we have to downgrade to that $80 motherboard, that might be what we have to do. I'm finding motherboards to be one of the most difficult things to buy during this quarantine. It's really interesting. All, all the ones, like all the most popular ones, like the MSI Tomahawk Max, like can't find them anywhere. They're just gone. So you're getting options. Speaking of options, storage so we've got two options here if you're looking for some extra space you can get yourself a 240 gigabyte ssd from sandisk here and that'll get you 45 dollars plus a two terabyte hard disk drive over here from seagate and total that's going to be less than a hundred dollars for 2240 gigabytes of storage that's not bad for me my very first gaming and streaming pc was actually just a 500 gig SSD. I wanted everything to be on an SSD. And at the end of the day, I didn't play a bajillion different games. I had a lot of them. And if I were going to stream a different game, I would just download it beforehand. I actually went with a 480 gigabyte SSD and that's all I did. And that works really well for me. So I wanna give you a couple options. If you want more storage, you can go 240 with the two terabyte over here, but I'm gonna put this one in there. It's gonna save you 40 bucks and it will work great for gaming and streaming. The case, power supply and fans. Uh, we're gonna be pushing that $700 mark. Uh, we would have easily been able to hit 650, but with quarantine, some of these prices are more expensive. Again, it kind of comes down to your patience. If you wanna wait a couple months, see if these processors and the motherboards go back down, it's an option. If not, this is what the prices are today. All right, let's look at a case and there are Lots of case options, even some case options smaller than this. However, I wanted to pick one that had some optimal space for some fans, both intake and exhaust. Uh, and I wanted one that looked good. This one's also got a nice power supply shroud underneath it. This is one that's not too much out of the gate, 
but as you upgrade things, it can upgrade with you. And yeah, it's pretty. The $66 for case. And I will have links to everything in this down below. In fact, these entire builds, I've built them out on kit.co and I've got links to the whole kit. So if you wanna see the entire build with links to them on Amazon, uh, those will be in the description below. It's important to know this case doesn't come with fans. So we're gonna add two of these thermal take fans. They're $14 each, making it $28. Put one for intake, one for exhaust. And then we'll grab ourselves the 600 watts PSU from thermal take. If I go back and edit how much I'm trying to spend on this PC in the beginning, or do I just admit defeat during this quarantine and say, it is what it is. I failed. <laughs> Things are more expensive than they should be right now. Came out to be $807, $807. All right. The thing that really killed us was the CPU and the motherboards, motherboards. Just, we just, we did one motherboard. That CPU is usually $65 cheaper. And you can usually find a good B450 motherboard for about $80, another $35. That'd be another, it'd be $100 off. It'd be $100 off this, we'd be at about the $700 mark. So a lot of this is up to you. Uh, if you want to go with that cheaper motherboard, that's an option. You can also go with a cheaper case if you want. But right now, those are kind of the only things that I would skimp on here. You can save $15 going down to a $16.60. Just, just some options to help you guys save some Okane. All right, total 807. Kill me. All right, let's get into the next one. This is the professional streamer you've been streaming for a little bit maybe you've started making money maybe you got a maybe a couple dozen subs maybe a couple hundred subs maybe you're uh, an established adult and uh, you got a good job some good income and and you can spring for a little bit of a nicer setup this one's going to be open a little bit to interpretation depending on your needs things like how much rgb you want to put into it if you want some liquid cooling or whatever i'm going to share with you my base professional build and then you do whatever you want with that upgrade downgrade wherever you feel things fit let's again start with the gpu is this one already out of stock everything's out of stock let's see if we can even find a 2070 super right now oh that's way expensive that's that's you should never pay that much for a 2070 super 800 yeah it looks like 2070 supers are are the popular card right now that are impossible to find there none of them are in until mid-june which makes sense it's a good middle ground you can game at 1440p or super high refresh rates or even a little bit of both depending on the optimization of your game while streaming at the same time using an nvidia's uh, turing encoder you'd be able to do that with a 2070 super you just wouldn't be able to do it until June. <laughs> so just kind of be aware of that. If you're good to wait an entire month to start streaming, those 2070 supers were awesome. So yeah, we're going to use this. I'm going to assume you are a patient person. You can wait a month uh, for $530. We're going to grab this 2070 super. CPU time. Uh, you can see both PCs I'm building here are AMD based. I'm loving what AMD is doing, especially if you're doing a single PC for both gaming and streaming. AMD's multi-core processing, the fact that it's got eight cores, 16 threads, and it's optimized for multi-threaded processing, which rendering, something you do when you're streaming, takes advantage of. So we're gonna go with the Ryzen 7 3700X here. It's a little less than $300, which is a fantastic price for its performance. Solid CPU, you will love it. I'm gonna say 295. All right, motherboards for that CPU. Uh, I originally had this one here, but again, it was not 320. I think it was like $200 when I found it and it's gone up to 320. So here is uh, also from Asus, their Tough motherboard. I've used Tough before, I've never had any issues with them. And this one is $173 and it'll ship sooner. It looks like it's got six different USB ports, four of them being USB 3, as well as an extra USB type C port on there. I don't know what DVI is still doing on that thing, but this thing should have uh, all the IO that you need for a solid gaming and streaming PC. And even though it's B450, looks like it supports third gen Ryzen right out of the gate. So you should have no problem putting your uh, Ryzen 3700X right into this thing. All right, let's get some RAM. And let's get some storage. Here we've got 32 gigs. You can do this on 16 gigs, but we're talking about a more professional build. Let's get ourselves 32 gigs of RAM, two 16 sticks, both of them at the high end speeds, 3600 megahertz for that sweet AMD CPU that likes that speed. It'll be 180 bucks. Storage, here's a one terabyte NVMe. This is a personal preference thing of mine. You get whatever storage you want at this price. Storage is not gonna be eating into your budget. Uh, I 
have fallen in love with NVMe. I don't I don't do anything else in my builds because I like that it just attaches right to the motherboard and there's no cables, no SATA, no nothing. It's great. I'm all about it. So here's a solid one terabyte NVMe. Get rid of some of that cable management that you know you don't wanna do. All right, our case. I, guys, I'm a big fan of, of NZXT's just sleek white cases. There's a reason they're so popular. Uh, they're functional, they're spacious, they're beautiful, and they're simple. Uh, here is a good, relatively affordable case. Why is it $200? It was like $80 last week. This is gonna kill me. All right, we're switching it. Wanna go to Lee and Lee instead? This is also a beautiful case. Guys, I should not have done this video during quarantine, but I did it anyway, and gosh dang it, we're gonna finish it. Find a case that fits your preference, we're gonna throw this in here. I've got a Lee and Lee case and I love it. And it reminds me of the NZXT one, but without the crazy price tag, so 90 bucks. So this being a more professional build and the fact that you have eight cores and 16 threads running, I thought I'd add some extra cooling onto this one. Uh, and I picked up this NZXT Kraken cooler. I'm a big fan of the Kraken coolers. They are solid cooling machines. They're simple, they're beautiful, they cool your CPU. I think they're great. Uh, you've seen in my videos, I've got a Kraken up in my system for my streaming CPU. I got the Kraken Z that has a fancy LCD screen. Uh, that's a That can be a personal upgrade. If you want in your system, I'm gonna put a solid middle ground AIO cooler in there for $130. If you don't end up going with that, you go with the Wraith cooler that comes with your 3700X. Uh, and you want some extra fans to be pushing that air through. It comes with two fans, but you can pick up two more fans for another 14 bucks each, and uh, you'll get some solid cooling through that big old ATX machine. It'll all work out in your favor. And lastly, unavailable. Come on, everything's unavailable. I literally like built this last week and everything was great. Oh, this is the theme of this video. Everything is gone. Here's our replacement PSU. Solid 75 watt, 80 plus gold, which is great, and fully modular. So, and a, a you know, the, of course, the trusted brand Corsair. So, you know, you're not getting screwed over by some crappy, tiny little PSU. Let's throw this in. 113 PSU. That is the whole thing. Let's add this up. Let's see what we're at. I said I was going for 1500 to 1700. I'm pretty sure this was 1500 a week ago. And <laughs> it's 16. Let's type this out. 1682. Uh, with a couple places you can save money. For example, if you want to go with 16 gigs of RAM, that'll save you almost $100. The 2070 Super wasn't $570. It's was $530. What am I doing? I knew that number looked wrong. Saved 40 bucks. 1642. You dumb. I don't know why I needed the calculator for that. I'm pretty good at math. You can save on the RAM if you want to go with 16 gigs. Uh, you can save on the storage if you want to go with a little bit smaller, go with an SSD. Uh, you can save $130 if you just want to get those $28 worth of fans and go with the Wraith cooler, which is a fantastic cooler, by the way. This is totally unnecessary for most situations unless you want to overclock. So I think you have the ability here to knock off another 200 at $250. And of course, if you want to upgrade it, I think that CPU is going to be fine for any upgrades. You could go up to a 2080 Super and pair that with the Ryzen 7. Still have a phenomenal system. It'd just be another two to $300 more. So kind of options in both directions, but there you go. Those are the two builds that I would recommend for a thrifty streamer who's just starting and wants to dip their toes in and have a system that works well. And, uh, and a professional streamer who wants to add lots of really cool animations, extra stuff to their stream, extra stuff to your game. If you game at, uh, you know, 1440p or high refresh rates and you want that extra headroom of power to game while you're streaming at those high levels. That was so much more frustrating than I thought it was going to be. Hopefully me doing that instead of you saved you some frustration. Again, if you want to see my explanation of why I chose things like Ryzen CPUs, why I choose NVIDIA GPUs right now, those are kind of the, the best option for single PC setups. There will be a link to another video where I did a whole demonstration of why. Uh, link to that in the description below, actually up here, both. Both. Again, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday at noon Pacific time. Link to my stream in the description down below. If you have any other questions that maybe I missed or you want to talk about some ideas, something like that, feel free to jump in there. Or if you want to talk to a whole community of people that build stuff like this, we've got a Discord with over 50,000 members 
all of them streamers, all of them looking to improve themselves, find friends, share ideas, link to the Discord in the description down below. Uh, I hope this helped, guys, and as always, happy streaming. Oh, God. Oh, ho, 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 ho.